I quit drinking at 2011, okay? So I stopped abusing alcohol. My vibration started to raise. We're going to talk more about vibrations and frequencies too because that's a huge part of it. And uh, again, I have to make this clear. I'm not talking about becoming a psychic person. The thing is, is we all have the ability to have psychic abilities. We, it's all within us. Nobody's more special than the other. I'm not more special than you because I figured this stuff out. We're all on different paths. So guess what? Somebody else figured it out way before I did. And then I learned from them. You see? So I just want to throw that out there. But when I quit drinking, what's called my frequency, my vibration that I lived at, it changed. It became higher. I resonated higher. I attracted better things into my life, not just the sadness and sorrow of abusing the alcohol or abusing drugs, okay? We all know that there's nothing good about abusing drugs. Maybe when you're in the midst of the high and you don't know what's going on in life, that feels real nice, right? Well, then you come down and everything's way worse. Yep, that's drugs. So, coming out of the spiritual closet. So I, like I was saying, I quit drinking at 2011 and as 12 and 13 came in, um, I started to raise my vibration more, but I had a friend die from heroin and that was really difficult on me and then I ended up falling into an opiate tunnel for a year without even it's like it happened before I even realized it happened which is so scary because it that helped me to realize how many people fall into it not realizing what they just did it's like you know in case you're not aware of it opiates Vicodin Percocet they're all synthetic forms of heroin I didn't really understand that so pain pills that stuff it's heroin right all right, y'all, it's legal heroin, so stay away from it. It almost killed me, and it killed a lot of people. Anyway, that lowered my vibration, right? I had been into in a hiking accident and hurt my ankle and started taking Percocets. Then, I was in a massive car accident. And when I said car accident, I mean I was smashed by a van on a little tiny scooter. I'm lucky to be alive, Okay that accident was my spiritual awakening that was that was the truth that was when it all happened when I was laying on the pavement with my bones sticking out my leg the other side and all sorts of stuff and I knew that I had to change my ways and stop messing with drugs I knew that I had to get away from the people I was near and the thing was, is I had lots of karma to reap for how bad I had treated my body. I was on bed rest for almost four months. I couldn't move. Thank God I had my family to take care of me, but I literally couldn't even bathe myself. I was reaping the karma that I sowed. In that time, things started getting a little, ooh. What do I mean by this? I started seeing um, auras. I started to see um, like flashlights, like flashing lights and pictures, orbs. I uh, and then I heard a voice tell me to go to California. If I hadn't listened to the voice, I never would have met the love of my life. And the voice sounded like my best friend who passed away because everyone else told me to stay and not to go to California. That's where another thing you have to listen to your own gut. When I started listening to my own gut and I followed it, I feel like I started following my true path. There's a lot more to be said about this, but a lot of weird things happen when you wake up. There's numerology, there are angel numbers, you start seeing numbers, 1111, 222, 333, 444. This is some weird stuff. But it's awesome stuff. And uh, it's, it's some of those stuff, I, uh, again, coming out of the spiritual closet, I know that I could lose a lot of people as friends or acquaintances over this. They're going to see this and be like, oh, God, no. And, I mean, I'm sorry if you don't agree. I, I mean, I'm not sorry. I'm just, uh, I'm sorry that you feel like we can't, if we couldn't continue to be buddies over it. But I got to do what I do. And this is what I've been doing. This is what I've been doing, especially over the past couple of years. I've been manifesting uh, what I want out of life and my path. And 
and a lot of it's been happening and I want to share that with people and especially these trans gender folks that are going through hell because they feel they got to look a certain way and be a certain way to be happy I understand that having a sex change can help demolish that gender dysphoria and I I agree with it I'm all for sex changes but I'm here to tell you that I didn't have one because I went to the spiritual side of life to a point where I'm like writing about it making it into a career okay so it's like my whole life right when you put uh, chemicals into your body it's more difficult to see things clairvoyantly it's just the way it is I'm not saying you won't I'm not saying that if you take testosterone or estrogen you're you're not gonna have any clairvoyant abilities that's not true I'm not saying that but what I'm saying for me personally I've been told by other psychics too to not ingest chemicals as much as possible and I'm talking from needles of testosterone to the food I eat to the laundry detergent I use down to the toothpaste I make sure to use toothpaste it doesn't even have fluoride in it that's how anal retentive I am about this I haven't found any other trans guys out there that are talking about this so I, I felt even more of the need to talk about this there is a reason that you feel you shouldn't have a sex change and it doesn't necessarily mean that you're not what you say you are just because I didn't want a sex change doesn't mean I'm not transgender you may have people tell you that they don't know what the hell they're talking about and most of the time they're not even transgender how the hell can you tell somebody how so anyway be be yourself that's something I've always fought for I've gotten heat from it but I've also gotten a hell of a lot of praise remember that you'll get praise for it too be yourself screw what these other people think you have to you know why because it doesn't matter we're gonna get more later into all sorts of ways to better your life from raising your vi uh, from raising your vibration and your frequency to literally saying protection prayers to keep other people's toxic vibrations out of your space we as transgender people we must come out of victim mode everybody has a right to be in victim mode for a little bit feel sorry for themselves but if you stay in victim mode feeling sorry for yourself you're never gonna get better you're never gonna feel better don't do that to yourself own it man you're transgender because you're a warrior you're too spirited I got news for you you most likely have been on this planet a thousand times before yes I believe in reincarnation I have been blessed to find out what my recent past life was. I'll share with you at another time. When I found out what it was, it made damn sense why I'm here as a transgender warrior. Here to speak up for the trans people. Do it for the warriors that paved the way for you, man. How about all the gays and lesbians, bisexuals, pansexuals? They went out and they were themselves to pave the way. I'm extremely passionate about this because there's a 10 year old out there because there's a 12 year old because there's a 21 year old out there that's going through the same things that I went through the pain the mental torture the anguish and I want them I want you to know it does not have to stay like this you can be transgender and live a happy life whether you have a sex change or you don't it's all up to you it's up to you my lovely people it's all up to you and you don't have to make a decision right away there's gonna be a lot of bullshitting people along the way and you know what something else I got to share right now that I didn't learn till recently and would have helped me a lot if I would have learned it uh, sooner boundaries learn how to set proper boundaries boundaries with other people with other things if somebody makes you feel uncomfortable there's a reason for that okay you know how some people you feel like you can tell anything to and other people's you can't there's a reason for that you're not meant to resonate with every single human being on this planet it's just it's okay we're not all meant to get along we're not all on the same frequency vibration
If somebody makes you feel weird, then you need to set that boundary and say, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, you're not welcome in my space. If somebody's making you feel like you're less than worthy or making you feel bad about yourself, honey, you got to go. And it's not always easy. Sometimes you got to say goodbye to people that you love. And sometimes you admit that you have to admit to yourself that you're addicted to another human being. I've been addicted to human beings. Spirituality is, is so many things in a whole. It's taking care of yourself mentally, physically, mind, body, and soul. Spirituality is a lot of different things. Y'all see somebody is like doing something behind me right there. Look at that cat. He ain't talking about spirituality. I think he's like doing something with the sewer. You see, everybody's on a different vibration. That man is working for the sewer company. And I'm working for uh, the Transgender Indigo United LLC. <laughs> I just invented that. Well, God bless that man right there. And God bless you all. Yeah. I believe in God. And if any of this makes you feel uncomfortable, I invite you to move along to another video. Because I still love you too. Even though we're different. Just have nothing but love. Because that love frequency, that's where it's at, y'all. Peace and love.